Well, there are a lot of plans out there to fix our energy problem. One of the most far-reaching that I've seen comes from Representative Randy Forbes of Virginia. He's calling for what he calls a new Manhattan Project. It would make the U.S. energy independent in 20 years. Representative Forbes joins me now from Washington. Uh, thanks for being with us. Tell us about this plan. You're calling it the new Manhattan Project. What's the implication? What does that actually mean? Well, Ali, as you know, back in World War II, when we had a major struggle on how we were going to defend freedom and create the atom bomb, everybody said it couldn't happen. We brought the best and the brightest minds together, and it did happen, and we did the impossible. 1960, when President Kennedy talked about putting somebody on the moon, everybody laughed, thought it was absurd. We brought the best talent we had across the country, and we were able to put somebody on the moon uh, within a decade. We believe right now that uh, the average American person thinks this oil crisis belongs either to the oil companies, the politicians, or foreign dictators. The new Manhattan Project just begins to come back, and it says we're going to bring the best, brightest minds in the country, and we're going to reach that goal instead of just talking about it. All right, we applaud you for the leadership. Uh, it's going to take money, and we'll get to that in a second. But tell me in very brief terms what it is you think we can do. You talk about achieving energy independence within 20 years, meaning 100% of our power, whatever, whatever way we generate it, will be generated uh, in America. First of all, we do three things. The first thing we do is establish a commission of the best and brightest scientists and engineers we have in the country, and we task them with the challenge of coming back to us in a year with a plan that's going to get us 50% more energy independent in 10 years and 100% and in 20 years. Secondly, we set a whole host of prizes to the American private sector and say, if you can reach one of these goals for us, we're going to pay you a substantial sum of money, and it's been proven over and over again if we do that, American businesses and individuals will spend 40 and 50 times that to try to reach and attain those goals. And the final thing we do is actually put dollars towards research and capabilities around the country to uh, hopefully inspire a whole new generation of young people in math and science and engineering so that they can help us attain this challenge. Congressman, let me tell our viewers very briefly, you are talking about doubling fuel efficiency standards to 70 miles per gallon. We're not even at 30 right now. Cutting home and uh, business energy use in half, making solar power work at the same uh, cost as coal, making biofuel production the same price as gas, cost competitive with gas, uh, neutralized nuclear waste, and containing uh, containing the, uh, the emissions from coal using uh, more nuclear fission. Uh, what kind of response have you had to this? Well, one of the things that we see from the American people is that whenever we give them big standards and big goals, they reach out and grab them. I think one of the problems we've had so far is we've been tackling this on too small a scale, and we've been in the weeds instead of going up and giving a great life-size challenge that people can reach. I think when we do it, the American people rise to the challenge, and I think we'll meet this challenge like we did uh, with the Apollo situation and like we did with the first Manhattan Project. Have you talked to the presidential candidates about this? Uh, you know, the presidential candidates have been going around talking about it a lot, and we had other people talking about it. We just felt it was time that we stopped talking and actually put a bill forward and began moving the dialogue and the debate, and that's why we drafted this and put it forward. One quick uh, last question for you. How do we pay for this? Well, I think one of the things that we'll see is look what we're paying for it now with the pump. And, you know, if we can reach just one of these seven goals, it will more than quadruple any dollars that we put in there. So while this bill is an expensive bill, about $24 billion, it's the same amount that we put to the original Manhattan Project uh, in real terms today. I think the dollar savings will be enormous for us in future energy independence. All right, uh, Congressman, we appreciate uh, the far-reaching plan that you put forward, and we will uh, watch it very closely along with you. Congressman Randy Forbes. Thank you, Republican of Virginia. Well, this weekend, we've been telling you about the Saudi Arabia holds a meeting of oil producing countries and they're meeting with oil consuming countries, including the United